We're back with our breaking news. Uh, at least one person has been killed, 14 others injured uh, at a Super Bowl victory rally in Kansas City. You're seeing images there of people and law enforcement running at the scene moments ago. Uh, that was a chaotic scene that uh, that is now, we're learning, resulting in casualties. We are awaiting a news conference from police with updates, but I want to go straight to CNN's Josh Campbell. Josh, uh, we're learning some new information about the numbers here. How many people injured? Uh, and unfortunately, we are learning of a death. No, absolutely. And, you know, as we all fear, the number keeps going up now. We're hearing uh, from the fire department in Kansas City that there are now uh, approximately 14 people who are injured. As you mentioned, one of those uh, individuals has sadly uh, succumbed to their injuries. Of those who are injured, we're told that three are currently in critical condition. Five people right now are in serious condition, and there is one person with non-life-threatening injuries. Now, authorities have not yet indicated uh, which what among those who are suffering gunshot wounds, uh, what other injuries may have been sustained uh, during uh, fleeing uh, th this uh, shooting taking place at the end of the celebration. Uh, but again, we're here told right now one person who is dead, approximately 14 other victims, and at least uh, three people right now in critical condition in the hospital. As you mentioned, Abby, we are awaiting this press conference from police to provide additional information. There's a lot we don't know about what actually transpired, but the fact that they are holding a press conference uh, in and of itself is uh, signaling to us that it appears at least the emergent phase of this incident is now over, uh, you know, apart from some type of manhunt that might be underway, uh, authorities uh, typically, they will come out and provide information once uh, the emergency is over. So we will wait to hear what authorities say as far as uh, what they believe happened here, who was responsible, any additional information on the victims. And a major question we have is authorities have said that two individuals who were armed were detained at the scene pending additional information uh, investigation. They haven't indicated that those people were specifically involved here in this shooting. And then again, finally, the, you know, one major question we all have, did this shooting actually relate to this massive Super Bowl celebration that was taking place there in Kansas City? Or was this something that was occurring adjacent, unrelated, and you just happened to have this large crowd there? A lot of unanswered questions. Again, that press conference uh, should be starting here moments from now. All right, Josh Campbell, stand by for us as we do await that press conference that's expected this hour. Back with me now, though, is senior national security analyst Juliet Kayyem and former deputy FBI director Andrew McCabe. Andy, I want to get to you on what Josh was just highlighting there. There are always these uncertainties in, the, in this situation, but some key ones. One, uh, police are being very careful in how they describe these two armed individuals who have been detained at, in the in the context of this shooting, we don't know if they are considered suspects. Uh, and as Josh has also pointed out, we don't know whether or not this shooting was targeted at this event or or adjacent to this event. So, given all of that, what do you think we can expect to hear at this stage from police as they uh, uh, anticipate to come out in the coming minutes to to give us a briefing? Sure. So I hope that we hear some more details ab about how they think about these two individuals who are in custody. And 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 Josh has, has pointed it out well. Uh, this is a state with very uh, loose gun laws. There's open carry laws. Basically, anyone over 18 basically can carry a weapon anywhere they want to go. This is an outdoor event in a massive park. Uh, in which, you know, tickets are certainly not required. Access to the event was open to the public. So it's likely that there were many people in the crowd carrying weapons. So we don't know if the two people are in, in custody, if police have any reason to believe that they were the ones that fired these shots that caused the injuries. So to, in order to establish that, they'll be looking for eyewitnesses. They'll be reviewing security, any security cameras that might have been up in the area that might uh, have seen, uh, you know, the folks who are involved in this sort of thing. They'll want to talk to these two people. It's possible that they'll be interviewed and cooperate and explain whether or not they were involved or what their perspective is on the on the whole thing. So hopefully we'll hear some details about these two. 
uh, from law enforcement. Although I have to say, is we've done these things so many times before, Abby, we, we all know that the first press conference is often very sparse in terms of detail because it's yes. early on in the investigation and uh, law enforcement is reluctant to disclose the information that they know and they're very actively caught up in trying to sort these details out. So uh, hopefully yeah. we'll get some uh, insight, but yeah. uh, I wouldn't bet the farm on it. Juliet, do you get the sense that given that there is a briefing anticipated, given yeah. that, uh, you know, the scene seems to be relatively calm, police are not anticipating yes. that there is a manhunt underway? Could we extrapolate that? There, there may be a, a manhunt underway. I, I do think that the police are sort of walking away from these two arrests, not, not in a bad way, but just simply saying we don't know if they're involved, but they, they were armed around the event. The two things that hopefully will come out of this, obviously, is is um, uh, is is how, is the injured is the victims. I mean, this is ultimately uh, about them uh, and about the people who are harmed. You know, what's going on with family unification? Uh, what's going on with family notification? We may not learn their names, uh, but it's been several hours, so they have a sense of the of the of the harm at least now, and it's not good. We have several people in critical uh, condition. Second will be the nature of the injury. So what we don't know now is, is it, um, was this targeted because it was a Super Bowl event or is it just we have lots of guns in this country and there was something that happened that led to gun violence and it, and it was next to a parade with a million people. And therefore you are going to have harms that may be unrelated uh, to uh, uh, to being shot, right? And, and in fact, we don't know if, if, all, if that many people were shot. Your biggest fears of, of course, crowd crush. Uh, I was looking, I do, you know, I do a lot of designing on the stuff. So I'm looking at the gates. The gates are meant to protect people that are in. You're going to have a lot of people hurt if they're trying to get out of the pinned area because they're hearing gunshot um, uh, wounds. So that's, those are the things that we will hear in terms of how, what we worry about in terms of, of these mega events. Um, and then, of course, uh, what an investigation looks like. But, but you know, like Andrew, um, I don't think we'll hear much about that piece of it right now. Yeah. And look, this is, as you pointed out, a, a huge event, the event itself, but it's yeah. also a citywide celebration. People having their yeah. own uh, gatherings, possibly intoxicated, all kinds of things can unfold yes. uh, in that kind of environment.